Hey feminine, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. Let's jump right into your reading. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you on today. Please do keep in mind you all that these are general messages. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest, okay? Let's see. Was that the Four of Wands? Mm, okay, seeing some good stuff. What are the messages for our feminines? What does she need Ooh, to know? King of coins. All right. Somebody that is reliable, dependable, mature. Okay. Is interested in you. The chariot. This person wants to pursue you. Okay. The chariot is somebody who, if it, we're talking about the energy of the person, this is a, I'm hearing overachiever. Okay. This is somebody that achieves all of their goals, but they are determined on being with you or having something more with you. And that's just the only thing that they're focused on. You know, they're not looking for there to be another option. Okay. Because this person is determined. They want to take their time. They want to get to know you. They want to do it right. Okay. We have the seven of swords and we have the death card. Okay. Six of wands. So I feel like this is something different than what you're used to. You could have been used to dealing with people who just were dishonest disloyal or unloyal okay unfaithful different things like that non-committal okay you know underhanded shady etc but when it comes to this person again grounded reliable mature they're just different than what you're used to okay you could be in your head a lot when it comes to your past but with the six of wands here i'm telling you this relationship can be really successful if you let it okay if you let it be successful it will be we have the eight of cups eight of cups is emotional withdrawal or detachment the two of cups all right sometimes you may emotionally withdraw or detach from this person from this connection all right out of fear like i said you know eight of swords five of cups you know being in your mind repetitively thinking about the things you experienced in the past that weren't that great when it comes to romance okay but you don't want to be the one to block your blessing with the star card and the sun this is definitely a blessing oh the ten of cups girl listen <laughs> then i saw the five of swords you don't want to miss out on what God has for you because of the past, you know? So let us see. Hmm. For our feminines, what are the messages? We have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is emotional detachment here. All right. Going on a spiritual quest, going within to really figure out what it is that you want. We have Queen of Swords and we have Two of Cups. This person could uh, feel like sometimes you're kind of cold or distant. Okay. They may not understand why, but this is why. You understand why. Perhaps you should express it to them. Okay. We have the seven of wands, but this person is very determined. When I say very determined, shall I listen? We got the fool card. Okay. They said, this is something new. I know it's different for you. So we're going to take our time. I get it. All right. Your energy may be completely different than what they're used to as well, which is why I feel like they are so willing to extend that grace. Also, this is a person that I feel like, again, was sent by God directly. So they have God's patience. They have God's, um, you know, tendency to extend that grace. OK, that's what I'm seeing. The moon. This person has a lot of feelings for you that they haven't expressed. OK, you may have a lot of feelings for them that you haven't expressed, but I feel like this person wants to express them. We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, they're coming towards you quickly to express these feelings, these thoughts. Knight of Pentacles. OK, <clears throat> this is like I said, someone that likes to take their time. They're showing up with that turtle there, right? Turtles are known to be slow. OK, <laughs> however, um, again, very stable. They have their home right there. Okay, their shell. It's not like they're in their shell. Their shell is a part of them. So this person is like, hmm, very grounded, very rooted, very connected to earth energy. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. You take them out of their comfort zone. They're usually slow to move, slow to act. But with you, they feel like they want to show you what they need to. Okay, Ace of Pentacles is my engagement ring. The world is evolution and growth. You and this person are meant to grow together, are meant to learn together. Okay, when it comes to love and life, we have the Five of Wands. This could be external or internal conflict. Okay, when it comes to this connection, the King of Swords. All right, this is somebody that is very intellectual, a good conversationalist. They love to, you know, 
express themselves and they like to learn new things and share information with others okay three of pentacles some of you may work with this person around this person or this could just be them wanting to work with you when it comes to this connection okay if you guys hear the street cleaner outside they're doing their thing while we do our thing okay queen of pentacles you're very grounded very mature very dependable as well and you match this person's energy notice you showed up as the queen of swords before here they are the king of swords they were the king of pentacles now here you are the queen of pentacles all right so whatever this conflict is it could just be overthinking fear of the past repeating itself okay let us see we have the queen of pentacles a match to that king of pentacles there two of swords being of two minds not knowing how you feel okay the six of swords six of swords is distance there could be distance between you and this person nine of cups but why this is something you feel like is your heart's desires your wish fulfillment this person feels the same way so why is there space and distance king of wands action because this person showed up initially as a king of pentacles they may be slow to act slow to move okay maybe that's why the knight of swords is being traded out you know it's like um in place of that knight of pentacles you know yeah, you got the three of swords, the ten of swords. There's been betrayal here for sure. Okay, so for some of you, it could have been from this person, by this person. Your heart could be broken because you feel like the person is not moving. Okay, your heart could have been broken, like I said, for a lot of you, the majority of you, past energy. You know, just what you were used to dealing with before. So now that you are here in this present moment, you don't know how to accept this knight of cups. You don't know how to accept this offer. Ten of cups. Okay, let us see. Hmm. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands here. So you've taken action. All right. This person is very attracted to you, very drawn to you energetically. Okay. You guys share a mental connection as well. They love the way that your mind works. They love the way you think. They love the way you uh, express yourself. The star card this is divine guidance okay so you're being divinely guided toward this connection four pentacles you keep holding back you're afraid to open up nine of pentacles you've been independent for a while all right you've had to do everything on your own by yourself for a really long time okay so somebody coming in and saying they love you they care about you they trust you they want to be with you all that stuff you're like okay yeah uh-huh you know you've heard it all before here we have ace of cups and ten of wands okay it's like the internal conflict that you're going through could be making this harder than it needs to be or mm, yeah three of cups is reunion three of cups is celebration all right three of cups is dating so before we had the ten of cups now you had a ten of pentacles this person sees you as their forever person there's great potential here in this connection However, again, spirit is like, if you let it, if you allow it to be great, it can be great. If you allow it to be successful, it will be successful. Okay. Yeah. This cycle has to end though. You have to heal something. All right. Give us more in this eight of cups, spirit, please. What is this eight of cups? The two of pentacles. You could be juggling a lot right now okay again you are used to doing everything on your own ten of pentacles is shared responsibilities and obligations okay dependence you have a lot on your shoulders right now with that ten of wands maybe that's why you're not really focused on this offer even though it's there nine of wands yeah you're recognizing that you and this person have reciprocal energy with the six of pentacles the two of cups yet and still because of two of pentacles and ten of wands ten of pentacles all the responsibilities obligations you have it creates conflict when it comes to accepting this ace of cups this love offer okay let us see what's this ten of swords and three of swords okay Five of Swords, yeah, things that happened in the past, Eight of Wands, but you need to move forward, okay? Six of Pentacles, again, this is a blessing being received from Spirit, okay? Yeah, Temperance, this is Divine Intervention, Spirit stepping in. You've been doing everything by yourself for a really long time. 
That's not how it's supposed to go. Okay, got the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Hmm. Not for you anyway. Some people are meant to be alone. You're not one of them. Okay. So that's what I'm getting. Divine intervention. Okay. Commitment. Reconciliation or starting something new. Okay. With this person that you seem to be a match with in every way. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. King, Queen of Swords. Okay. We have two cards trying to slide out from a different deck, but we'll get there in a second. Right. Messages for feminine. Oh, before I do these, I almost forgot. What is this five of wands over here? Nine of pentacles. Yeah. It's your independence, okay? You're afraid. You've always had to do everything on your own. Letting somebody get close to you just for them to let you down, disappoint you, betray you? No. It doesn't sound like a good time, okay? It doesn't sound like something you're interested in, but this person just wants to love you. That's what I'm getting from it. Okay? Let us see. Thank you, Spirit. What are the messages for feminine? Okay. Grass is greener. You deserve better than perhaps what you've been giving yourself. Or you deserve better than the treatment that you've received thus far when it comes to love and relationships. And again, this is why spirit wants to give you better. Okay, we have crossroad. Again, I feel like this is you, you know, not really knowing if you should allow this person in or if you should allow them to get close to you or not. Okay. Mm. To this person, it could come across as if you're very indecisive right now. You don't know what you want. Family, okay? Again, like I said, some of you could have dependents. So that's what you're focused on. Your responsibilities, what it is that you have to do. It may be too much of a risk for you, okay? But Spirit is saying take a leap of faith. Your ancestors are in support of this connection. All right. We have single and we have wedding. Yeah, you're not going to be single for long. This is the person you're meant to marry. This is the one. It says marriage forever. The one union. Home. All right. Your twin is returning home. Or that's what they would like to do. Okay. We have toxic relationship. Yeah, that's what you're used to. Okay. Codependency. Being misunderstood, being triggered. This person is not here to do any of that. They are here to love you, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Spirit is about to step in here in a major way, okay? Comfort, safety, belonging, and shelter. All right, Fire Feminines. You're a breath of fresh air. This love brings me back to life. Aww. I will be by your side, even on the worst of days. There is no other place I would rather be. Hmm, sweet. I love that you can pull on my hand, though. You make me want to do more. Who would have known you live up to the hype? You are so beautiful. It is unlike any other thing in this world. Sheesh. Cards is sliding out, child. <laughs> okay. Life is beautiful with you by my side. I will choose you time and time again. All right. A person is like, look, it's always going to be you for me. Okay. My goals, dreams, and you, they all align. You are my destiny. Okay. This is a destined connection, something that's meant to be. This person makes you happy. Okay. You make them happy. There is nothing in this world I wouldn't do for you. Any obstacle challenge is minute compared to my love for you. Okay, I say you give it a go, girl. <laughs> I pray that this helps you. I know that it will. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.